Welcome to Mass on this 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please join in singing. All are welcome. Today in the Gospel, the story of Jairus reminds us that uh, there are many situations over which we are powerless. And in this place of powerlessness, we turn to our God, who is a healer.
O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. For he fashioned all things that they might have being, and the creatures of the world are wholesome. And there is not a destructive drug among them, nor any domain of the netherworld on the earth. For justice is undying. For God formed man to be imperishable, the image of his own nature he made him. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world, and they who belong to his company experience it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Their abundance may also supply your needs. 
that there may be equality. As it is written, whoever had much did not have more, and whoever had little did not have less. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Please come and lay your hands on her so that she may get well and live. The two went off together and a loud, large crowd followed, pushing against Jesus. People from the official's house arrived, saying, Your daughter is dead. Why bother the teacher further? Jesus disregarded the report that had been brought and said to the official, Fear is useless. What is needed is trust. He would not permit anyone to follow him except Peter, James, and James' brother, John. As they approached the house of the synagogue leader, Jesus was struck by the noise of people wailing and crying loudly on all sides. He entered and said to them, Why do you make this din with your wailing? The child is not dead. She's asleep. At this time, they began to ridicule him. Then he put them all out. Jesus took the child's father and mother and his own companions and entered the room where the child lay. Taking her hand, he said to her, Talitha kum, which means little girl, get up. The girl, a child of twelve, stood up immediately and began to walk around. At this, the family's astonishment was complete. He enjoined them strictly not to let anyone know about it and told them to give her something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's good to be back. I feel like I've been gone for a long time. Uh, I. Um, I was in New Orleans the other week, and I spoke to a friend. I saw a number of friends, but I spoke to one friend who is in the first uh, year of his recovery from alcoholism. So he described to me the last months of drinking for him. He told me that he tried desperately to drink in moderation. He said, I switched from hurricanes to beer. Nothing worked. He said, I'm switched from drinking in the French Quarter to drinking at home, nothing worked. And I switched from that martini brunch I love at Commander's Palace to a civilized glass of wine at Galatoire's, nothing worked. And as he sank further and further into those alcoholic waters, he felt more and more distraught. So what happened, I asked, what changed? I realized I was powerless, he said, that I couldn't, but that God could, and that I needed to let him. That feeling, 
That feeling is familiar to many who struggle with addiction. Before experiencing those healing powers of recovery, there is a need for an understanding of powerlessness, that the person simply can't without the help of God. In the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, powerlessness is a gift because it is in the time of total need and resignation that the one who is powerless fully realized their, their reliance on God. The story of today's gospel is also one of powerlessness, and it's every parent's worst fear. Jairus' daughter has a serious illness, and Jairus can do nothing to help her. Jairus was a leader of the synagogue and a person of importance, but as illness has no respect for power, Jairus was humbled. It's not even his cloud and status could help him. This distressed parent knew he had no other option than to turn to Jesus, the compassionate healer from Galilee. And so out of a need and total resignation, he did the hard task, the hard task of surrendering, and it saved his daughter. Because out of the compassion that is God, the girl was cured with the phrase Talitha Kum. Jesus met Jairus in the depths of his powerlessness. Because Jairus couldn't, but Jesus could, and he needed to let him. In this passage today, Jesus lives up to his name, which literally means God saves. Jesus stops, Jesus listens, and Jesus tells Jairus not to be afraid. And as this healing story demonstrates, Jesus is the living embodiment of a compassionate God who heals. As it is for Jairus, so it is for us. God is always available to us in Jesus Christ. And so we surrender to him. And while surrendering is the beginning, love in the form of compassionate healing is the end. But Jesus' love, it's not a warm and fuzzy love. It's not a make everything bad go away and get back to normal love. It's a gritty, come to listen and walk with us love. It's the love of someone who has suffered, who as St. Paul said in today's reading, became poor like we are poor, to enter our stories so to understand the challenges of what it means to be a powerless human. It's the healing love of compassion. Today's gospel is a reminder of the truth of who we are and the truth of who God is. The truth of who we, of who we are is that we are powerless. That there is always a situation where we can't do much and where we need to surrender. But that is a gift because it requires us to call on God. And the truth of who God is is that he is compassion and mercy and a healer. God in Jesus Christ saves, and he tends to the needs of the powerless in his time and in his way. We can't, but God can, and we need to let him. So the next time one of our loved ones is hurting and we feel powerless to help them, the next time we have exhausted our means and imagination to transform a broken relationship. The next time we feel lost or forgotten or a situation at home or at work has failed, let us admit our powerlessness and abandon ourselves to that higher power, the compassion of God in Jesus Christ that can both help us and that will save us. Our powerlessness is a gift. And glory be to him whose power working in us can do infinitely more than 
we can ask or imagine. Glory be to him in the church and in Jesus Christ. stand and profess our faith. We'll use the Nicene Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathering our prayers and our praises into one, we offer our words to our God who loves us. For the church, that as disciples of Jesus, we seek healing in the world by working for remedies to racial injustice and to the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our compassionate care for those on the margins, especially for those whose rent assistance ends soon. And for all married couples, especially for Dominic and Melba Dostosic, who celebrated their 70th wedding anniversary, and for Vince and Mary Fran Obradovich, who celebrated their 69th wedding anniversary, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who suffer ridicule, hostility, or persecution because they are faithful to Christ, that the Holy Spirit strengthen their fidelity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our world in turmoil, for Pope Francis in his compassion for those most impacted by climate change and drought, and for our generous response to this weekend's special collection for Peter's Pence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the safety of all on summer vacation, for all who have gone home to God, especially for Genevieve Nelson, mother of Paulette Collier, for Steve Starr, uncle, uncle of Father Billy, and for all our faithful departed, and for our own intentions, which we remember in the quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving God, our needs are many. These are the prayers of your church, which we offer to you out loud. And you know those that were hold quietly in our hearts. So we ask you in your time and in your way as our compassionate healer to answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, Saint Ignatius, Mother Mary Rose, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace is my gift to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of peace, and text peace to your loved ones.
Jesus, may all that is in you flow into me. May your body and blood be my food and drink. May your passion and death be my strength and life. Jesus, with you by my side, enough has been given. May the shelter I seek be the shadow of your cross. Let me not run from the love which you offer, but hold me safe from the forces of evil. On each of my dimes, shed your light and your love. Keep calling to me until that day comes when with our saints I praise you forever. Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Any announcements? Masses on the 11th. Masses on the 11th, July 11th. All masses will open, so that Saturday, Sunday at 8, 10.30 and 7.30. And uh, bins in the back for summer adventure donations. Bins in the back for summer adventure donations for those of you who are here, and I think that's good, right? It's uh, please stay cool this weekend. You know, it's a it's a lovely 107 degrees here in in Portland. I told Father Craig that we should hand out eucalyptus and face facial masks. We're not we don't air condition here, so that it feels more like a spa. You know, so it's like spa and mass all at once. But you know, our budget's tight, so maybe next year. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God with your lives. Thanks be to God. And please join in singing, Hallelujah, Love is Alive. <laughs> 